Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, my name is Antirexon and I'm going to explain to you how to make your uh, Russian version of Arcage into an uh, English patched version. This was actually requested by a few users that watched my previous video. So what we're going to do is, well first of all you have to download a few of the applications that I posted in the description below. And this is actually thanks to one of the other users uh, whose link I'm going to provide below as well, who actually explained it in very good terms, but I figured I'm gonna do one as well, just in case his video gets taken down or something. So this is Arcage, how to make Russian, Russian into not Russian, into English version. I don't know why I did that. Just go with it. All right, so I've already kind of installed those three, uh, three, four applications, and I'm gonna show them to you right here. So you need Proxifier, which is basically an application that um, allows you to create a proxy when other applications don't allow it. So it kind of um, outsmarts your computer into, into allowing you to use proxies. Um, you have something called TTC, which is really, um, this is w the main part of the e English patching system. And here you just need this one file called patch.bat. And you also need something called WP, which I totally forgot what it stands for, but it's something really important and necessary to use. So let's go with it. So first, first things first, pro Proxifier, click on this. Um, I only have the, what you might call it, the unregistered version right now. So I'm going to be using that as well. If you want to buy this, or if you want to use our cage um, a long time, you can definitely support the company and purchase it. It's not very expensive. Basically, mine expires on June 4th, but I won't be really using it anyway. So um, I'm just showing this to you to you using the demo version. So mine has nothing. So I'm going to do this with you as I go along. And we'll see if it works because I'm actually doing this, what is it, May uh, on May 4th, uh, 2014. So if it works now, it should work for you as well. Now, uh, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So we tried, right? So go into proxy service. This is your step number one. Go into proxy service and add the server. And then we're going to write this 127.127.0.0.1 and port is 1777. So 1777. This is uh, 127 is your own IP address. This is your IP and this is your port address that you're going to be using. And we're going to be using SOX version five. So that's all you need to do. 127.0.0.1.1777 and SOX version five. Okay. Uh, do you want to? Yes. It has been set to default and okay this. So that's our step number one. Step number two, go into profile again and now choose pro proxification rules. Or proxification rules. I don't know what that means, but basically this is what we're going to do. So here we're going to click on add and leave everything here as it is. You don't really need to change the name unless you really want to, unless you're going to be like using this actively with other uh, proxies. So nothing really needs to be changed. Just click on browse right here, browse, and now find your um, RKH destination. So where did you install your RKH when you were installing it? I believe mine is in, I don't even know anymore. So I just found mine, mine was actually in C Games RKH, RKH. And I believe what you have to click on is the RKH executable file, which is, let's just find it together, which is right here. It's in the RKH. Arcage bin 32 and then you just click on this now you have to make sure that you do it this way you actually have to browse into it not just write your destination or just write this because that's not going to work and uh, so now you, what you do is you click on action which is right here and then choose that proxy sox 5127001 so choose this okay okay and that's it that's it for the proxy fire. Now don't close it, actually keep it running because you're going to need this uh, running when you're running Arcage as well. So this has to be always on. Otherwise I heard that the game crashes. Oh, I have that Dropbox show for some reason. Um, I heard that the game crashes, so you make sure that you run this. So I'm gonna keep this somewhere over here. Um, next thing is you're going to go into WP669, whatever that is, uh, click on WP. And this is actually, like, you see a lot of funny letters. This is actually, it's in Russian alphabet. You don't have to know anything here. Basically, go into proxy PC and make sure it's, it looks like this. It should be like this by default. So this should be on. This should be off. And, oh, something just came up. Infinite connection loop detection. 
I don't know what that means, but let's just ignore it for now. Uh, so on off. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this button right here that says PPC blah blah blah. So it says, oh, it actually says something: packet converter main panel. So click on that. You're going to have this show up. You'll have this little window. Now I haven't changed anything myself, so this is what it's going to look like when you just install or when you just download this application, uh, also known as WD Cats in Vartar version 7.6. Uh, so we click on here. So you click on Archage. Then this should say one for now. It says one script. Click on the second thingy right here under path names. Uh, so now you click on the green button that says set. Uh, it basically means install script. And you'll have this pop up. You'll have this little window pop up. Um, one of the files that are provided in the links below is this. It, it's not going to have the same icon because actually it just so happens that this file is associated with one of the programs that I have already. It's probably going to have like a random icon that you um, may not have. So this is actually not what it should look like, but it's called HS packet spoof, whatever, whatever. Now basically you just open this. So now if you did this correctly, you should have this as two, two scripts, and then you have your HS packet spoofer right here. And that's really all you have to do. I think you just have to click OK right here and then close this window. Ooh, did I close it completely? Oh no, where did it go? Okay, so, oh, and by the way, this is actually, oh yeah, WP is Wicked Patcher. This is under Proxy PC window. It's a second tab right here. So this is where you have to go. Uh, so if you look here, you should have, this is two scripts and HS Pack Spoofer. So this should be saved now. And Keep this open as well. Don't close this. So this is these are two programs that you have to be running at all times. Proxify has to be running, and WP has to be running. This is kind of unfortunate, but it's the only way for you to use the English scripts or English language in the in the Russian game. Basically, this prevents it from crashing, and and you'll be able to use the uh, the actual language patch as well. Now the last part we're going to do is we're going to go into ooh, go back. Uh, we're going to go into TTC and open not open sorry click right click on patch this is actually a bat file bat files are basically like executables but they also provide commands um in other words it's it's a it's a file that you you can edit yourself uh to start programs in the way you want you want them started so click on edit should be right under open you're going to see something like this um now this is what you have to change this is the only part you have to change uh, this is where you have to specify where you install the game. So you can see that this um, that by default it says game games mail are you archage. Now mine is not here. My game pack file is actually so now I found it. My game pack file is actually under games archage archage game pack. So that's my path. So what I have to do now, yeah, I'm using Windows 8. If you just click right here, it's going to show you the path. What I have to do now is basically just copy this and go back into my um, patch bat. So I'm going to ignore this. I, I'll keep this as, as what it is right now. Change this location to what I have. Uh, missing the slash there. So mine is games, archage, archage, game pack. And then basically save it. Save and close it. And that's really it. That's all you have to do. Now you just have to run the file. So let's run it together. It's my first time doing it as well. So let's see if it works. I don't know how long it's going to take, but someone told me it was only like a minute or so. So this is what you should have. It's, it's going to say open input file, blah, 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 funny letters, funny numbers. Let's just wait. All right. So this really took like 20 seconds. I was going to put some music here, but it was pretty fast. Um, so that's it. Now, start the game. Let's start the game. Let's find out if it actually worked. So this is the loading screen. Um, as you can see, things are already in English. Um, the server names were still in Russian, unfortunately. So you just have to guess which server you want to be on. Uh, but so far, this looks like it worked. So let's find out. All right. So I just had to wait a little bit longer than usual. This is my main character. Um, the game seems to be pretty fast, actually, even though I'm recording. And you can see, so this is all in English. Party, trade, uh, labor points. Um, my quests are in English. Let's see if my character sheet is in English. My character sheet is all in English. Uh, except for, what is this? Oh, my faction. Okay, so my faction is still in Russian. Uh, I guess because it makes sense they named the factions uh, in Russian. Uh, items. Items have English descriptions. Shop price. Um, durability, strength, defense. 
defense, defense. Uh, let's see, what else can I... I'm gonna go through everything, actually. So this is a character sheet. My bag has a lot of crap in it. That's also everything in English, silver ore, potion, um, long spear katana. Ooh, I have a katana? I never even knew I had a katana. That's awesome. Uh, I thought it was something else in Russian. Quests are English description. A skills window. All of the skills are described in English. Um, archery. It's called shadow play. Now I know. That's awesome. Uh, witchcraft. I, I'm a witch? Those, those are things I've discovered first time. Uh, I, it was actually something completely different in Russian. Map. Okay, so map. That's going to be a problem. Map is still in Russian. Uh, you have your um, uh, locations here listed in English, but unfortunately this is, I think because this is an actual image, it's, uh, you may have to use English map somewhere, which I don't really know where you can find, but you can probably ask people around. I mean, if, if I find a link for it, I'll definitely post it below. Um, all of the vocation stuff, like public farms and whatever folio is, oh, okay, so your skills, uh, your harvesting and your, um, construction skills they're all listed in English as well so everything uh, for the most part everything seems to be in English even the monster names as you can see this uh, says warlocks imps um, and warlock council right there so for the most part it's in English there is occasional like the map is in Russian unfortunately but everything else seems to be cool um, oh the game just suddenly slowed down but I think it's because I'm recording and now I'm not sure if it's going to be a problem running those uh, two other applications which I have right here the WP and also the proxy fire if, if it actually takes a lot of RAM but I'm sure if you have a powerful computer it should handle it without a problem all right so everything seems to be working fine uh, and I think I'm gonna stop it here well thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel I actually do have a lot of really cool uh, or I think they're cool uh, gaming videos and I tend to post a lot of indie games online games I'm going to post a lot of arcade games as well uh, videos as well because I do really like this game I think it's going to be a, a huge hit in the US and hopefully I'll get to play it um, pretty soon I'm actually not think I'm not sure if I'll buy the beta but I'm definitely subscribing to um, the public version when it comes out and um, so yeah subscribe to my channel check out check out some of my videos and if you want me to post something else if you want me to post a specific video make a request below in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you all right thank you for watching this has been Antirex on have a good day